Faithful. This morning, I'm going to, uh, to share uh, on the topic about perspectives. Perspectives. It is very important. It is very significant in the eyes of the Lord because if we don't have the right perspective, it will affect uh, everyone, not only our lives, the people that we love, even uh, it also affect our community. There's a picture that we can see at our back about perspective. The one who is in the island, he shouted, there's a boat, there's a boat. And, and the other one who is uh, in his little boat, maybe he has been, uh, uh, you know, experienced shipwreck and uh, there's a life, little lifeboat, and he shouted as well, there's a land, there's a land. Because it is just a matter of perspective. I don't know where you are now, what you are going through as a businessman, as a, as a, as a young adult, as a, as a student, as a parent, or, you know, as a person who is going through all those trials. What is your perspective what is your the point of view that you have in uh, in your life uh, status today there is a shoe salesman and he was sent to a remote part of the country when he arrived he was dismayed because everyone went around barefooted so he wired the company and he said, no prospect for sales. So please, uh, you know, bring me back because people here don't wear shoes. So later, another salesman went to the same territory and he too sent a word to his office. But his telegram read, great potential people don't wear shoes here see perspective perspective tell the person next to you perspective there's another picture that is being uh, flashed at my back in front of you happiness is a state of mind it's just according to the way you look at things so see uh, in that picture it's the second who who got the, the the silver medal who is celebrating but the first the gold medalist missed the opportunity perspective perspective there are two meanings that we can see in the dictionary english dictionary it says here perspective the art of drawing solid objects into a two-dimensional surface so as to give the right impression of their height, width, depth, and position in relation to each other when viewed from a particular point. The second meaning, which we focus in this uh, definition, a particular attitude toward or way of regarding something it is a point of view what is your point of view where are you at when it comes to your vision to your focus to your understanding of things that you are going through to the difficulties that you are facing nowadays 
Tell the person next to you again, perspective. Well, I would like to specially welcome our district executive in Lanao del Sur, Pastora Edna Villapuz and Pastor Mario Villapuz, the parents of Pastor Jabez. Hi, welcome here in Metro Manila. This is their, their first time here in ICS. Pastora, Pastor, thank you for coming to the wedding of your son. <laughs> thank you for being with us today. We're so happy. Let me bring you to a very wonderful uh, passage. It is a narrative. It is a story. And it is a deadly story because it is a series of, of a narrative story where the people of God, the Israelites, rebelled. They act rebelliously against the Lord because of the way they saw things. But this, in this particular story, we only focus in these two chapters, Numbers chapter 13 and Numbers chapter 14. But I will only lead, uh, read portions so that it will uh, shorten our time. But if you have your time, personal study of reading your Bible, you can read this whole story. Chapter 13, the Lord said to Moses, Send some men to explore the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the Israelites. And each ancestral tribe sent one of its leaders. So, at the commands... At the, at the Lord's command, Moses sent them out of the desert of Paran. All of them were leaders of the Israelites. They came back to Moses and Aaron and the whole Israelite community at Kadesh in the desert of Paran. There they reported to them, to the whole assembly, and showed them the fruit of the land. They gave Moses this account. We went into the land of which you sent us, and it does flow with milk and honey. Here is its fruit. But the people who live there are powerful. And the cities are fortified, very large. We even saw descendants of Anak there. Giants. The Amalekites live in the, in, the Neg in the Negev. The Hittites, the Jebusites, the Amorites live in the hill country. And the Canaanites live near the sea and along the Jordan. Then Caleb, Caleb, the one of those 12 that Moses sent, silenced the people before Moses and said, we should go up. We should go up and take possession of the land for we can certainly do it. Jump to the next chapter. All the Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron. Take note. Everyone now, the whole nation, the whole Israel, they grumbled against Moses and Aaron, and the whole assembly said to them, if only we had died in Egypt or in wilderness. Why is the Lord bringing us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Very sad. Our wives and children will be taken as plunder. Wouldn't it be better for us to go back to Egypt? And they said to each other, we should choose a leader to go back to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell face down in front of the whole assembly. Israelite assembly gathered there. Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes and said to the entire Israel assembly, the land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and will give it to us. Only do not rebel 
against the Lord. And do not be afraid of the people of the land because we will, see, we will devour them. A wonderful perspective. Their protection is gone, but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. But the whole assembly talked about stoning them. Worst reaction, their worst uh, response. But the whole assembly talked about stoning them. Then the glory of the Lord appeared at the tent of meeting to, the, to, the, to all the Israelites. The Lord said to Moses, How long will these people treat me with contempt? How long will they refuse to believe in me? In spite of all the signs. I have performed among them. I will strike them down with plague and destroy them. But I will make you into a great nation, greater and stronger than they. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, how long will this wicked community grumble against me? I have, I have heard their complaints of this grumblings, uh, grumbling Israelites. So tell them, as surely as I live, declares the Lord, I will do to the very thing, I will do the very thing I heard you say. In this wilderness, your bodies will fall, every one of you, 20 years old and uh, or more, who has counted in the census and who has grumbled against me. No one, no one of you will enter the land I swore with a flip, uh, uplifted hand to make your home except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Deadly things has been promised by God as long as I live because of wrong perspective. Where you are today, when it comes to the task, when it comes to the mission, when it comes to the mandate, when it comes to being a disciple who supposedly shine your light, impact your, your, your workplace, who supposedly a person who will bring hope and who will bring you know, another uh, life to the person who is losing their uh, perspective in life. The Lord sent these 12 leaders among the 12 tribes. Israel has 12 sons and became 12 tribes. And every leader of the tribe has been sent to represent, to represent, you know, the goodness of God. Because the purpose of God, why He sent them to check the land. According to the scholars, it is between 30 days to 42 days when they arrived Kadesh Barnea. Kadesh Barnea. Kadesh Barnea is a place that after a month or more, they arrive and they have seen it is within their grasp that they could get the promised land, the land flowing with milk and honey. Imagine one month. A month of travel but because of their wrong perspective it has been delayed because of wrong perspective the task was not finished because of wrong understanding or forgetting the goodness of the Lord the Lord made it sure that no from that generation could enter the promised land why did the Lord send these spies or these leaders to, to explore the land? God, first, I think, God wanted them to see the beauty of the land, how fertile it is, how wonderful it is, that indeed it is a land flowing with milk and honey. Second, I, I, I see that one, God wanted them to rely on His power. To let them understand that, hey, you came from Egypt. See, Egypt is more powerful than the land of Canaan. Did you forget 
all those wonderful signs and wonders, those powerful hand that uh, defeated all those enemies? Have you forgotten crossing that Red Sea and see the hand of God uh, destroying the reputation of Egypt? The Lord sent them for them to rely on His power. The Lord sent them because God wanted them to bring the good report. He wanted them to bring the good report. Are you bringing a good report every day? Or are you wasting your day complaining? Or wasting your day thinking of those anxieties that are probably... Uh, um, made you paralyzed to move forward. These 10 leaders, 10 spies, looked only at the task at hand. That the task physically or tangibly is impossible, but with God, we know that nothing is impossible. The 10 spies, they looked on their own ability to, ac to accomplish the task. Not with the two spies, not with Caleb, and not with Joshua. They understand that their God, they understood that their God is big. They understood that their God is powerful. They understood that their God uh, is, is faithful to all His promises. This is the big idea for today. Our perspective, our perspective reveals the condition of our hearts reflects the strength of our beliefs produces the quality of our obedience and affects the mindset of the people around us what is your perspective today when it comes to the promises of God, to the word of the Lord. If our perspective is not right, it will affect our hearts. It will affect our beliefs. It will affect our obedience, and it will affect the people around us. That is why perspective is very important. Let me tackle the first one. It reveals the condition of our heart. It reveals the condition of your heart. The Lord has proven since before until now that He is good. In your life, what are the experiences that you experience and the Lord has been faithful that until now you are standing by the grace of God? When I arrived at the Cotabato Airport, the military said, Pastor, we will pass through all this ambush area. I said, the Lord is faithful and He will prove it again. We experience, uh, uh, when, we, when we arrive, there should be a, a planned route for us to go through. But the, uh, one time in, 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 in that particular conflict area, the, the military official said, Pastor, let us divert because we have recovered a, an IED along the road. Imagine the Lord has proven faithful. Lately, when we, when we returned to that particular place, there was bombing. Just a week ago, at the area of Sultan Kudarat, we arrived in that, in that place safe. But praise the Lord, where we are became the epicenter of the earthquake. Hallelujah! Imagine, two days earlier, before we arrived at the area, I received a, a news pastor, we will cancel our first location because two days earlier there was an encounter with the military and three of their of the enemies uh, enemies leader died according to our intelligence they are going to strike back so let us uh, let us uh, abort this this location praise the lord Praise the Lord. He is faithful. He is faithful because in the Lord, whatever task in front of us that we think it is impossible, it is possible with God. Before we left in the place, I don't know what happened. The mayor said, Pastor, uh, tomorrow, 
we are about to leave that day, uh, the, you know, the day after that, they said tomorrow, uh, three common communist group commanders will surrender. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I have seen, I have seen the raw pictures of those uh, lawless people or, or enemy of the government being killed in action. And it saddened my heart because I know that there is a higher probability that these people will go to hell. Maybe 98% per, probability that they'll go to hell. Why? Because they don't know Jesus. They don't hear Jesus. But with this impossible task, with this impossible task, God can make all things possible. A week earlier, there was a news that 100 Abu Sayyaf returned, surrendered to the government. Praise the Lord. There is another hope of these people to hear about the good news that there is life, there is hope, there is peace. Hallelujah. We entered into that place the first time. Uh, it's an NPA infested area uh, full, of the, full of the former NPA family were there. And uh, we went there, and all the counselors, after uh, the, the medical outreach activity, all of them cried. They said, Pastor, we're, we're, so, we're, we're, we're so burdened with these people because they, they're waiting at us. They're waiting at us. They're so open. They're so open. What is your perspective? where you are what community you are in what what school you are you enrolled this year or 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 office you are working right now the lord has sent you there because the lord wants to to see if you are a person who brings good report it reveals the condition of our heart we will easily forget we will easily forget if we will not keep the word, the promises of God in our heart, just like the ten spies, they forgot. They suddenly, they suddenly forgot everything. They never rem remembered how the Lord opened the Red Sea, how the Lord showed His power ten times against the Egyptians. They were intimidated with the giants, with the fortified walls, but not with Joshua. Tell the person next to you, but not us not ICS. We will not intimidated. When God gave us a task, the Lord will be there to show His power. He will provide. Where He guides us, He will provide. The assignment that the Lord has given us is all possible. Indeed, I pray and our declaration here that ICS can be instrumental in building back our nation to for the glory of our God. We are nation builders. Hallelujah. We can contribute. We can contribute to the, to the development. We can contribute, you know, to change the lives of poor people around us. When we declare that we will, we will plant churches, we will plant not only one church per year because by God's grace, we can plant more than one church in a year. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible with, possible with the Lord. It reveals the condition of our heart. Maybe you are, you are saying, Pastor, Pastor, it's so difficult. I've been a Christian for, for, for one year or two years or three years, and it's so hard for me to, to bring others or to disciple others. Maybe for you, that is hard. But with God's grace, you can even influence your whole community with a good report with a testimony that you have with a story that the lord uh, completed in your life because he wants to use you it reveals the secret of your heart there's a picture at the back your mind is like a factory the ingredients you are putting into it will be used to make the final product and that, that is your life. Start keeping the promises of God in your life. Start embracing the promises 
so that you will not sway back and forth. No more option, no more options but to, to follow the Lord. No more options of returning back to Egypt. No more option of looking back or looking someone who would lead us, who would lead them back to their Egypt. The Israelites is, uh, were looking for options, but to us, when the Lord says, says so, we will say yes to the Lord because our loyalty is with you, O Lord, and we know that you will never fail us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Second, it reflects the strength of our beliefs. It reflects the strength of our belief in our perspective. If our perspective is, is wrong, it weakens our belief and we only see big problems. If you see big problems, you will see your God as small. But if your perspective is seeing the Lord, knowing the Lord that He is big, then everything else, including those problems, will become small. Who is big, our God or your problem? It is our God. Hallelujah. Let us not be intimidated with all this, uh, this, this uh, giants, the, the son of Anax or, or, or the Jebusites that the Israelites were reporting like what we have heard in the account. Do not be afraid. Do not be intimidated with all those uh, things that the enemy is trying to intimidate you. We are here to speak our conviction, and our conviction is that breakthrough is coming. Breakthrough is coming in your life. Our conviction is that the Lord will multiply our effort. I, my conviction is for us to see God's blessing being multiplied because we know that the Lord is faithful to take care of everything else so that we can shine our light. We can tangibly, we can, uh, we can help physically those people who are in, in need, who needs hope, and who needs his love. We can finish this. We can finish this. We can finish the task. We can finish the task. We can finish the whole tribes of Mindanao. We can finish, we can reach out to the, to the poor community around us. Let us be one. Let us see, you know, the hand of God that is moving around us. There is an end time harvest. And not only here in the Philippines, it is my conviction that we will be able to send more workers, workers to the tribes wherein the name of Jesus is not proclaimed yet. This is our conviction. We are not grasshoppers. We are lions. Hallelujah. There's a picture at the back. If size really mattered, the elephant would be the king of the jungle. We praise God because we will no longer be intimidated with all these uh, big, big challenges that is in front of us. Is it money? Is it our uh, limited in, in, in skills? The Lord can use you. The Lord can use us. The Lord can make you start a new circle where you are. The Lord can use you to disciple. The Lord can use you to even go. Pastor, I am willing to experience and see these people so that I could also share my experience. Hallelujah. You can do that. If you would like to join, let me know. I will bring you immediately to that place wherein the explosions and, you know, uh, the bullets are flying around you. But praise the Lord, I am standing here in front of you with no bullets in my body because the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It produces the quality of our obedience. Perspective is very significant 
in the eyes of the Lord because it does not only reveals the condition of our heart, it does not only reflect the strength of our belief, it produces, it affects the quality of our obedience. Why are you delaying? Why are we delaying? The task should be, should be done. The task should be finished many years back. But now, let us not delay. Let us move on. Let us not say that I can't do it because I know we can in the presence of the Lord. If the Lord is there to strengthen us, I can do all things. I can do all things because my God, nothing is impossible with Him. Let us finish the work in Lanao del, del Sur. Let us finish the work in Lanao del Norte, Pastora. Let us finish the work that the Lord set before us here in ICS because we know it is not just in this box. It is not just our three area churches. There will be more churches churches that the Lord will plant because the Lord will save many, many people, will bring hope to many, and, and His name will be glorified through our lives. Hallelujah. Are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing to help us? Are you willing to help us send the good report? Are you willing to help us uh, give a short uh, a, a, a small amount because it contributes so big in helping those people who are in need. I, I, will, I will share to you this. While we were in the area, the local government unit said, we announced that there's a dental service. We also announced that there is circumcision. Why did you not bring the dental services and the circumcision? So I said to myself, Lord, please help me. Lord, please help me. And then uh, I said to myself, Lord, in your track record, you never fail. And you'll ne we will never fail us again. This time, I don't have the cash. I cannot rally the people to give because there is no uh, signal in the area. How could they send the G cash? I cannot use my credit card because there's, there is no online payment. So I said to the officer, Sir, let us try to, to look for these medical supplies and, uh, and try to purchase. In my heart, it is very impossible because we were in Bambang Doctor. Doc, we're in Bambang, and we're trying to, to look for all those, uh, the stores there, and look for that anesthetic, dental anesthesia. And all the stores would say, it is out of stock. And now, I am in the most isolated area, mountains of Sultan Kudarat, and I told them, let's, let's give the services. If the RHU, if RHU, the, the Rural Health Unit, would help. So suddenly, this, this military official, the CMO officer, sir, the CMO, he said, wait, I remember, I know a doctor before many years back that he is one of the doctors in this district hospital. So he said, I will call him. So after a few minutes, he said, okay, there is a supply of dental anesthesia. Wow! So, I, I ask again, how many people we are going to cater? And then the other soldier would, would, uh, would answer around 80 to 100 pastor. So, I, I check my wallet. I can only, I can only buy one box with, with, the, with my money because the pharmacy that is with me, she said it is around 750 in Bambang or 120 ang isang box. Pastor, it is only 12, 12 uh, cartridges. Only for 12 uh, patients. So I said, oh Lord, help us. But in my mind, I said, 
if we, if we just have the money, at least four boxes, that's 12, 12, 12, 48, at least it will satisfy and the Lord's name will not be, uh, you know, will not be put to shame. But I prayed, Lord, you are so faithful. Then so we, we went into the, the, district, the district hospital and we asked, uh, do you have this supply? And they said, yes, we have. And then uh, I asked, how much? And they answered, it is 120 pesos only. Hallelujah! Yes, Lord, this is a miracle because they said that Bambang is the most uh, cheapest place to buy the medical supply. So I said, I want to buy them all. <laughs> I want to buy them all. And, uh, you know, this, uh, this lady said, we only have four. Oh, my goodness. Lord, I'm sorry. Uh, in, in my heart, I, I would only buy four if I have the money. Well, the Lord has been so good. Uh, he showed himself that he is faithful, but I, I still have lots of supplies needed. So, tinanong ko, I ask, sabi ko, meron po ba kayong ganito, meron po ba kayong ganito, meron po ganito? Sabi niya, she answered, sir, we have, we have. But it is only for the hospital's consumption. Oh, then later, she dialed the phone, and later, she went back to us, and she said, sir, this will be for free. We will donate it to you. God has proven himself faithful. He is faithful. The Lord is always good. What is your situation? Is it healing? You need healing? What is your situation? Is it money? What is your situation? Is it the impossibilities that you are thinking that my life will no longer... Uh, 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 my, my life will be this forever. The Lord is telling you that you will never be stuck anymore if you will allow your perspective to be changed. Let it be changed. Because why? Perspective matters. Perspective is very important in the eyes of the Lord because our obedience lies on it. We could not freely follow the Lord if we have all the doubts at the back of our mind, the Lord cannot use me. I cannot speak well. The Lord will not, maybe I'm not worthy to serve Him. But if you would change your perspective, the Lord can use you. Pastor, if I want to go with you, if I want to experience this, I want to obey, uh, you know, going, what will I do there? You can be a counselor. You can be uh, at the registration or you can probably uh, carry all those things or maybe at the marshals you will be the one to allow people to uh, to queue at this particular particular uh, place your smile matters your simple acts of kindness will impact eternity and where you are now even if you are not in the mission field you are now in your local mission field the Lord can use you your simple smile your simple life can bring encouragement and you can see the power of God moving in your place where you are right now hallelujah give God the glory give God the glory let us become like Joshua. We cannot afford anymore to delay what God has in store for us. It is supposedly a month only. They arrive at that promised land, but because of the wrong perspective, it reaches 40 years. Let us not harm the people around us as well because it leads us to the fourth thing and the last thing. It affects the mindset of the people around us. Wrong perspective puts people in danger. All Israelites, in chapter 14, verse 2, all Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron, and the whole assembly said to them, if we only had died in Egypt or in this wilderness. 
it harms them. It brings harm to, the, to our loved ones. The Lord is bringing breakthrough in your life, in your family, in our community, in our church. We are seeing how the Lord has been so faithful, how the Lord has blessed our church, and how this church has been used. But we will not be satisfied. We will not stop. We will not say, I am okay now. I am already serving as, as, a, as a Christian in our local church. I am already attending church every Sunday. Do not settle because it affects the understanding of your children. It will affect the understanding of what it is really to follow Jesus. Let us change our perspective. The Lord can use you in a small way, in big ways. The Lord can bring and can make your life a blessing, not only to the people who surround you, but to the nations. Here in ICS, we believe that we can conquer the world as we conquer our communities. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we can shine our lights. That is why the Lord puts us everywhere so that His name will be exalted. We are salt and light and we represent Jesus well. Hallelujah. If we have the right perspective, like Joshua and Caleb, the Lord called them faithful servant. Joshua and Caleb, my, 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 faith, my faithful servant, Joshua chapter 14, verse 14, they called them fully obedient. It is the Lord himself declared, because Caleb has wholeheartedly followed the Lord, his God. That's how the Lord called the two spies, fully obedient. In Numbers chapter 27, he also called Joshua and Caleb the man, the men who has the spirit of God. See how important perspective is? Our perspective makes our hearts strong, our belief in Him, our faith in Him strong, our obedience impact, our community blessed because of our faithfulness, because of our obedience, and because of the Spirit of God that is in us. How many of us would like to hear the Lord telling us, my faithful servant, my fully obedient child. The man, the woman who has the spirit. If you want to be called by God a faithful servant, a fully obedient child, a man or a woman who has the spirit, if you desire that, why don't you rise up? Gusto ko yan, Lord, I want to be like that. Or maybe the Lord has, has impressed something in your heart. Lord, I want to recommit my life. I want to be like that, Lord. I want to be one of the spies, Lord God, the two spies. I want to be like Joshua and Caleb. Hallelujah. And while you're standing right now, you want to, you want to be used by God. Even if you are, you think you are physically weak, or maybe you are challenged with that sickness, but you will, the Lord has changed your perspective. Or maybe you want the Lord to change your perspective. Lord, with this sickness, you will use this Lord God to let your glory be known. Even if I'm sickly, you can still use me. And if I'll be healed, well, praise the Lord. If I'll die, I'll die well. Because my life, Lord, is yours. And it is your prerogative to take my life, Lord God, whatever you want to. But you, I want you to use me. Maybe I'm already in my senior years. I think, Lord, you can still use me. Maybe the Lord is speaking to your heart and you, 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 you feel the move of the Spirit in your life. The Lord, you can still use me, Lord. Even if I'm already senior, senior. Senior, forgotten. I'm a senior citizen. I'm more than, I don't know what is your condition. But you want to see that, Lord, I no longer... I, I, I don't want to be stuck 
here. I want to cultivate my faith. I want to respond to you, God. I want to say yes to you. If that's, if that's you, I don't want you raise your, both your hands and say, Lord, here am I. Take all of me. Take all of me. Take all of me. Oh, Holy Spirit, come and hover, oh God, with His hands. Or maybe this person is watching online and heard your word. I pray in Jesus' name that this hands that has been represented probably with provision, probably, oh God, with a difficult task, probably, Lord, with, with, with sicknesses. Or, Lord, I don't know, oh God, what this person, Lord God, uh, this person's problem or, or, or hindrances, oh Lord, uh, to obey you or to, to, be, to, be, uh, to be used by you. But right now, oh Lord God, I pray in Jesus' name that you would remove all those obstacles in Jesus' name and make us free once again, Lord God, to serve you in Jesus' name. You would use us mightily, Lord God. You would allow your presence, Lord God, to empower us again. You would anoint us again and you would call us your faithful servant. You would call us, oh Lord God, your fully obedient children. Children. Lord, you would call us the man or a woman with your spirit because right here, right now, Lord God, you would allow your spirit to hover, Lord God, in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name, burn us, oh Lord God, with your spirit. Burn us, Lord God, with your passion. Burn us, Lord God, with your love. And I declare your provision. I declare, oh God, your strength. I declare, Lord, your healing. I declare, Lord God, that all impossibilities, oh God, will become possible in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I declare breakthrough God I declare your blessing Lord God I declare your healing thank you so much for your presence thank you so much oh God for moving in a mighty way Lord God thank you so much we will be bringing good reports we will be bringing oh God good news of Jesus we will be bringing your hope we will be encouragers oh Lord God you will raise ministers here you will raise evangelists here, Lord God. You will raise more missionaries, oh God. You will you will raise, Lord God, people, men and women of God in this generation. Siguro young people, Lord, siguro, Lord God, young adults, or siguro, Lord God, yung mga, yung mga full adults, senior citizens, Lord, we declare that in Jesus' name because no one can stop us if your Holy Spirit is the one moving in our midst. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, let us worship the Lord and declare his goodness and greatness in our life. today that he is our living hope that Jesus truly is the way maybe in this room you may be online and you've been hearing this and you know you know that that is for you you know that you need a change of perspective amen Paul wrote this in his letter to the Corinthians he said the God of this age who is the devil has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that is Jesus Christ You've been trying to shift your perspective, but you cannot do it on your own because the enemy is holding you back. But just like Pastor Sam said, if you would submit today to the Lord, if you would turn towards Him, if you have never committed your life to Him and said, Jesus, I want you to be Lord. I want you to be Master. It is only then that your perspective can begin to shift 
and to change so that you could walk in victory in the things that God is wanting you to do. So if that is you, you've walked away from the Lord, or you've never, never committed your life to Jesus, that can happen right now, right where you are. All you need to do, like Paul said, to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. Amen. So if that's what you want, would you pray this prayer like it's your own prayer in this room or online to say, Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving your life for me. Thank you for going on the cross for me. That should have been me there, but you took it upon yourself to die for my sins. Lord, I know that I need to shift my thinking. I need to change the direction of my life. I need you to do that. I can't do it on my own. So would you forgive me of all my sins? Would you come and lead me as my Lord? Beginning today, Lord God, I submit to you every decision. I will commit to you every choice. I will allow you to shift my perspective through your power. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. and amen. Friend, if you pray that prayer today for the first time or rededicated your life, let us know. If you're online, just say, I decided to follow Jesus. Like Pastor Sam said, your life will never be the same again because we believe that God is causing us to move. So when we go out of this room today, it's no longer about Chad's perspective. It has to be about kingdom perspective. Come on. Amen. It's no longer what I think. It's got to be about what Jesus says goes. That needs to be a perspective. And so as you go out, take it with you and say, Jesus, I'm going to follow you. Come on, lift your voice and declare this today.